Starting a side hustle can be overwhelming unless you take the right steps, make sure that you're covering all the necessary requirements, and understand what the demand is going to be on not only yourself, but your lifestyle as well. There are many main points to consider, and the more that you can review these before jumping into your side hustle, the better off you're going to be. In today's podcast episode, we'll touch on the main points that you should be thinking about before you start your side hustle, as well as items that you should be aware of when you're ready to get your side hustle started. Most entrepreneurs, overall, start a side hustle to provide income over and above what their main job is providing. Your side hustle may give you the financial freedom that you're looking for in your life, and when you're up to the challenge, you decide you want it bad enough, and you're ready to put in the effort, you'll start reaping the benefits from it as well. Whether you're starting a business or side hustle, you're a self-employed individual, a solopreneur, entrepreneur, mompreneur, freelancer, business owner, bookkeeper, or virtual assistant. Listen in and make sure that you take the right steps so that you are ready to start your side hustle out on the right path. You're listening to the Mastering Your Small Business Finances podcast, where we get straight to the point on topics that ultimately affect your bottom line. That's right. As an entrepreneur with a small business, money management, growth, marketing, they all affect your bottom line. I'm your host, Chris Ponick. I'm a certified public accountant, and I've been helping small business owners like you navigate and easily understand these complicated topics for over 25 years. I'm a wife, a mom, a grandmother, and a small business owner myself, so I know your time is valuable. In my free time, I make the best sugar cookies and have mastered an amazing chocolate chip cookie recipe. And that's not just my opinion. You're in the right place. I promise your time will be well spent here. Each week you'll gain confidence and clarity while making a successful impact on your business and grow your bottom line. Get comfy, grab a cookie, and let's get straight to the point with this week's episode. Hey there. If you're a business owner who wants to take your business to the next level, you're building your business and you're serious about growing your business to your first six figures, trending towards multiple six figures, or even seven figures, I want to invite you to join me in a free consultation call. I've created a business strategy and growth program that is the program that you need that helps you take your business to the next level. It sets the foundation for you to build, grow, and scale your dream business for the long term. It's for you if you are a business owner who desires to build a successful business and you want to do it in the most accelerated, streamlined, and sustainable way and in a way that aligns with your life and the impact that you want to make with your business. I'm really proud of the work that my clients and I do in this program and the transformation that happens for my clients through this one-on-one consulting process so that they can fully reach their dreams, set the foundation for their business, and create belief and actions to achieve what is possible by taking control and understanding their business, which leads to a balanced and more fulfilled life. There are limited spots available because of the very high level of support included in this program and because I'm also very serious about helping my clients get results. I'm helping clients get their businesses started, be more profitable, set strategies to move their business forward, and take control of their business while allowing them the balance and ability to enjoy their personal life. Your business finances are impacted by much more than just your bookkeeping and financial knowledge. You need a solid business foundation. During your consultation session, we'll work together to go over where you currently are in your business and where you'd like to see yourself and your business in the future. If this sounds like you, I want you to sign up for one of my free consultation sessions 
And if you're at a place where you know that you're ready for this level of business strategy, coaching, mentorship, and support with high-level business discussions that will give you the exact next steps and the ability to reach your goals and achievements, let's get on a call so that we can talk about and see what's possible for you and your business this year. You can go to financialadventure.com slash contact hyphen us to schedule your call today. I'll post the link in the show notes for you as well. Welcome back. In the last two episodes, I've covered how you can make money with a side hustle and some of the top side hustle ideas. In today's episode, we're going to walk through the steps that you should take to get ready to start your side hustle. First, I want to talk to you about what you should be thinking about before you decide to start a side hustle, and then we'll finish by talking about the specific steps that you should take to get your side hustle up and running. When you think about starting a side hustle, there are more than likely many questions that pop up for you. I want you to make sure that you're taking the time to get all these questions answered before you take the leap and start your side hustle. First, you need to make sure that you have the time to devote to your side hustle. I'll assume that if you're looking at starting a side hustle, you have a full-time job that's taking up the majority of your time. And that's fine. That's why they call it a side hustle, right? Aside from this time, I want you to really take a look at the rest of the time that you have available. Are you a parent or in a relationship that requires a lot of your time? How much time do you actually have to devote to your side hustle right now? How much time do you think you'll have in the near future for your side hustle? Are you able to work on your side hustle in the evening? Or are you willing to give up some of your weekends to do the work needed for your side hustle? All of these questions will help you decide if you genuinely have time to devote to your side hustle. Create a schedule to see exactly how much time you'll have available for your side hustle and where the rest of your time will be spent. Even if you do find that you have the extra time in your life, you also want to make sure that you're able to set your side hustle as a top priority. This doesn't mean that your side hustle always comes first because you can easily set boundaries so that you can still enjoy your life in the way that you want but you will want to set your side hustle as a higher priority in your life. Next, what will the purpose of your side hustle be? Take some time to think about why you want to start a side hustle in the first place. Is it financial? Do you want to reach a life goal that you set for yourself? Or are you trying to get out of debt? When you have the reason or reasons why you want to start a side hustle, It will help you to push through when you have a day and you just feel like giving up on your side hustle. Your why will give you the motivation that you need to keep going so that you can reach your goals. Then, take a look at your personality type. Are you a self-starter? Will you be motivated and willing to put in the extra effort to be successful? After all, one of your reasons may be to turn your side hustle into a full-time business down the road. To do this, you must have the determination and willingness to stick with it for the long haul. Before you look too far down the road, make sure that your employer is okay with you starting a side hustle. It may be beneficial for you to speak directly with them prior to starting your side hustle so that it doesn't cause any issues down the road. Make sure that there's no conflicts with your current employer and that you don't have some sort of non-compete clause that you need to consider. The last thing that you want to do when you're looking at starting a side hustle is to lose your full-time job. Be respectful of your employer and the time that you're working for them. Don't mix the time when you're working in your full-time job with the time that you're spending on your side hustle. You'll likely want to keep your full-time job until you're able to build sustainable sales or even have a savings built up that you can fall back on if needed. Do your research on what you want to do with your side hustle. This is some of the work that we do inside the Mastering Your Small Business Finances Profit Lab. We dig deep to get answers to questions like, are you doing something that you love and are interested in? 
Do you already have the skills that are needed? Make sure that you're creating a solution to a problem that your customers will want and be willing to pay for. Is there a need for your side hustle in the market? Who are your perfect customers and ideal clients? What will your revenue stream look like? What will you be selling? When you have an idea of what you want to sell or the services that you're going to be providing, you can start to develop a business plan. Wait a minute, did you just cringe a little bit? Don't worry, when I say develop a business plan, I don't mean that you need to create a 100-page document. What you will want to do, though, is to create a business plan that you can work with. It doesn't need to be written in stone. It should be fluid and be able to change with the pivots that you make in your side hustle as you grow. The main thing I want you to do is to think through your side hustle and understand what it's going to take to be successful. Your business plan should simply be a roadmap on how you're going to reach your goals. Decide what your business entity type will be. You'll need this not only for legal reasons, but you'll also want to make sure that you have the right entity for your tax preparation. And you'll want to know how the entity type that you select impacts your tax return. You'll need to get a federal employer identification number and register your side hustle with your state. In your business plan, you'll want to list out what you'll be offering what you're projecting for sales, how you've researched your competition, and what you have to offer that your competition doesn't offer. What sets you apart? From here, you'll start to see the potential of your side hustle. You can set up a budget or forecast, which will list your income and your expenses you expect to incur, and you'll take into consideration any startup costs, registration fees, branding, marketing, and website as well so that you have a good picture of your original investment in your side hustle. Make sure that you have a separate business checking account and a separate credit card if you think you'll need one, and keep your business and personal finances separate. This will help you make sure that your bookkeeping goes as smoothly as possible. I know this sounds like a lot to do for a simple side hustle, but when you put in the time up front, you'll definitely see the impact throughout your side hustle business. I want you to be successful, and one way to ensure you keep moving forward in your side hustle is to set milestones that will walk you through and keep you moving forward so that you'll be ready to launch your side hustle in the time frame that you're setting. Each milestone or deadline will bring you closer to actually running your side hustle. One thing that holds people back is perfectionism. I can really relate to this myself, but I want you to know that with every step that you take in your side hustle, you will move forward. You'll need to drop your perfectionism if it's holding you back. I know this is hard to do, but it is important. You may have heard the saying, done is better than perfect. This is true in your side hustle as well. Don't get hung up on a specific milestone. When you think that the task is ready, continue to move forward. Stop dwelling on it. You can always come back to it and refine and improve it down the road. I want to ensure that you are not only reaching each milestone, but surpassing each one and moving forward towards your goal. Even once you have your side hustle up and running, it's going to be important to ensure that you're still setting small incremental goals to continue to achieve. It may be your first customer, your next five customers, your first sale, and then maybe your first $1,000 in sales. You have to start small and build on these goals to grow your business. There are very few overnight successes in business, and your small incremental goals will keep your sights set and continue to help you achieve your goals. And don't forget to celebrate even the smallest achievements that you see in your side hustle. You are working hard and you deserve to celebrate. These celebrations will help you to decide what your next incremental goal should be that you want to work towards. When I work with my clients, they're always excited to share their accomplishments with me so that we can celebrate together. But it's equally fun when we work through the possibilities that are available to them. I enjoy helping them see the potential that they have and how profitable their business can be. 
Whether you're looking to start a side hustle or you're already making money with your side hustle, I'd love for you to experience these same benefits when you work with me. I'll help you with any questions that you have regarding your solopreneurship or side hustle. You can either sign up for a consultation session with me by going to financialadventure.com and clicking on the work with me button to schedule a call. Or if you're ready to make sure that your side hustle is profitable for you, join us in the Mastering Your Small Business Finances Profit Lab. If you have a side hustle or you're a solopreneur and you're struggling with getting your business started, growing your business, and generating revenues, you need to join us in the Profit Lab. In the Profit Lab, I help you ensure that your side hustle is more profitable so that you can keep that additional money in your pocket. We help you make decisions, grow revenues, and create a life that you can enjoy. I walk you through not only understanding the profitability of your side hustle, but also how you can create offers and increase your sales. By taking control of your business finances, you can create the profitable side hustle that you're striving for and meet the side hustle goals that you've set to achieve. We prioritize and work on the essential tasks in your business, help you make decisions, and generate revenue while creating a work-life balance that you can enjoy. Where you are right now in your side hustle journey is the perfect place for you to join us. And if you're ready to start, Don't let thoughts about the perfect offer, confusion about your pricing, or the fact that you're still working for an employer stop you. So are you ready to join us? Of course you are. By taking action in your business, you'll be sure to achieve your goals. Join us today by going to financialadventure.com slash profit and take advantage of our limited time founding member pricing. Generating revenue and increasing profits requires you to have the right mindset and accountability so that you get results. This is what we do inside the Mastering Your Small Business Finances Profit Lab, and it's perfect for you if you're a solopreneur or you have a side hustle and you're ready to be more profitable in your business. As a CPA, business strategist, and coach, I help business owners just like you who know it's time to do something different because what you've been doing in the past isn't getting you the results that you want. We'll make sure you understand your business finances, your next steps, and follow through with the vision that you have for your business so that you can truly enjoy your business. And you know I'm going to ask, what's at least one thing that you'll take away from this episode that will help your business succeed and grow your bottom line? If you need some accountability, Join our private Facebook community and post your action item. We'd love to support you. Thanks for taking the time to tune into this episode of Mastering Your Small Business Finances. If you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed creating it for you, I'd love for you to give it a five-star rating and subscribe to the show so you never miss an episode. Visit financialadventure.com for the show notes, links from this episode, and while you're there, leave a comment if you have a topic you're interested in learning more about that affects your bottom line. If you're looking for a community where you can ask questions and get feedback about your small business, join my private Facebook group. You can find the links to this group and more on financialadventure.com. And remember, any financial information shared on this podcast is not to be considered professional, financial, or tax advice and should not be solely relied upon. Please consult your CPA or tax advisor for an opinion on your specific circumstances. I'm looking forward to having you tune in next time. Until then, dream big, follow your heart, and love what you do.